Hello folks, this is Donnie Gladfelter from the CAD Geek. In this video, we're going to take a look at modifying the default behavior of the layer isolate command. So for those not necessarily familiar with the layer isolate command, what we're able to do is launch it here from the home tab, layers panel, and just go ahead and click on this. It's going to prompt me to select items on layers that I would like to see isolated. So in this case, I'm going to select a line on my wall layer and a line on my deck layer. When I press enter, you'll see that those two layers remain unchanged, whereas every other layer in my drawing is faded back into the background. So this allows me to still kind of see the spatial differences and the spatial relationships between different objects in my drawing, but without them being as prominent as they were otherwise. So to get things back to the way they were before I ran the layer isolate command, I can use the unisolate tool. Now this lock and fade option, as it's called, has not always been the default behavior of the layer isolate command. Back when it was still an express tool, it by default would turn all of your layers off that you didn't select. And so we can actually get back to this legacy functionality of the layer isolate command. What we have to do though is just relaunch the layer isolate command and pay attention to our command line. You'll notice it's prompting me for settings, so I can either type S for settings, or I'm gonna hit the down arrow to see the options here on my dynamic input um, toolbar here and choose settings. When I do that you'll notice that I have two options. The first is lock and fade and by the little black dot there you can see that that is indeed the default option. I can go back to this legacy behavior of off by just clicking on off here. I'm going to click off here once again. So this will take me back to the, yeah, the core prompt of the layer isolate command and what I'm able to do here is just select those same two layers and I'm going to press enter and you'll notice when I do that, it actually turns all of the layers off that I did not select. So if I come up here to my layer list, you'll see all of the off states here on the left hand side of the layer list. And those of course are the layers that I did not select when I ran the layer isolate command. Now, although the functionality is a little different. So when I first showed it to you, we locked all the layers. And in this case, we've uh, turned all of them off. To get things back to the way it was before I ran the layer isolate command is still exactly the same. I'm able to just come up here to the unisolate command and get things back to the way they were before I ran the layer isolate command. So you have it, just a quick tip on using and changing the default behavior of the layer isolate command. Once again, this is Donnie Gladfelter from the Gad Geek. Visit me at thecadgeek.com for many more tips and tricks just like this one.